Hi guys, it's me, Nick. And in addition to all the other videos that I've been doing on my channel, I decided to also start uploading daily vlogs because as much as I have fun doing the hidden history and taking you through magazines and things like that, those take a lot of time because I take out my camera, which I have here, but I am also a student of film, so I set up lights and microphones, and it ends up just taking like several hours out of my day to shoot those videos and then to edit them and put the graphics in. Uh, and I feel like I'm in a well enough lit space that it's not the most ridiculous thing ever to look at. And I can just take you through my day uh, so I can upload daily still, but, um, and still, I'm obviously still gonna do, you know, the fun other things in between because I have lots to say. So anyway, thanks for joining me. We'll keep going. I did not have a solid ending at the end of that last clip. I was like, we'll keep going. Super confident. I woke up today with a ridiculous cold sore, if you can see. And I have a theory. It, I think it's because I smoked a cigarette yesterday. No, not yesterday. Two days ago, I smoked a cigarette. And I quit smoking, like... Almost, almost six months ago, um, and I've been really good about it. But then, you know, I just, I just had a, a social cigarette. I admit, and I didn't enjoy it. But I think that that's what gave me a cold sore. I don't know if there's any science behind it, but that's what I feel like caused it. So, if anyone knows anything about the connection between smoking cigarettes and cold sores, let me know. It seems like it would make sense though, because there's obviously so many carcinogens and chemicals and like rat poison and formaldehyde in cigarettes. Why wouldn't it give you a cold sore? I think that's pretty sound science. I just got an email from Allure Magazine telling me the nine best lip oils to try now. What is a lip oil, do you think? It says, put down the gloss back away from the lip balm and pick up one of these nourishing non-sticky tubes for instant moisture and glossy all-in-one shine. I feel like that will make my cold sore even like worse. It will just fester and become a blistering breakout. Pick up one of these blistering breakout tubes for all day festering wounds. That's what it should say. I'm gonna make a habit of looking here rather than here. Because here looks like I'm looking at nothing, and here looks like I'm looking right at you, the lovely viewers. As much as I would love to be using a fancy lip oil, I have been instead slathering my lips with the chapstick pumpkin pie flavor. Can you see? Does it taste good? No, not at all. Did I put it in my basket by accident at CVS? Yes, yes I did. It's very unsettling to have the feel of Thanksgiving right under my nose at all times. In the middle of summer, save the pumpkin pie for the autumn. I am currently on my way to meet my friend Don for lunch at a ramen place, which I cannot remember the name of, but I know that I liked it last time. Um, I'm also wearing white shorts, which is an area of concern for me because I am so bad at getting food on my clothes. And obviously ramen is like the slurpiest, most brothy food ever. <sighs> but it's my last chance to wear white before Labor Day, guys. What if I whined like that? So anyway, I'm going to make a conscious effort not to splatter myself with food like a big boy. We'll see how it goes. I have another five-minute walk here. You know, when I moved to L.A., I thought... Oh, look at the palm trees. When I moved to L.A., I thought it would be a lot harder not having a car. But as it turns out, this place is pretty walkable, at least the area that I live in. And then you have Uber or Lyft or just riding on the backs of strangers. Either way, you figure it out. It's closed. It's under construction, deeply. We're going to sushi. We are going to Iyaki Sushi. Sushi Yaki. And then Starbucks. Sushi was bomb. And I got a Trenta cold brew iced coffee which I think is gonna give me just the push I need to finish this work day off right. I didn't take any pictures of the sushi because I don't know about you, but I feel like it's kind of basic to take pictures of your food. I mean, I don't have any problem with other people doing it. I don't mind seeing pictures of food in my Instagram feed, but for me, I'm just like, uh, you know what? This is not the last meal I'm ever gonna eat at a restaurant, so I don't really see the need to 
document it. It's just not part of my brand. What do you think? I, I just don't get into it, but I can see the appeal. It's like, oh, I'm out at a nice restaurant. Here's a picture. It's windy. Wait, I just need to call myself out real quick for being a hypocrite because in the same clip that I said I hate pictures of food, I was like, and the Trenta cold brew ice coffee from Starbucks. And also, if you look at my Snapchat stories, every day there's like more f me eating fresh fruit and cut up mangoes because I think I'm so cool for eating all these mangoes. All right. Fair point, everybody. I get it. I'm a liar. I love this abandoned looking subway station. I want to go down there so badly and explore and get into mischief like Scooby-Doo and the gang. Do you think it's open? It's locked. I could probably... No, you can't even climb that fence. Why am I doing this? I have like... I'm an adult. Bye! Ayo hey, house. How'd you get your tree so pointy? I'm vacuuming. Can you vacuum beds? I'm gonna do it. Just finishing up shooting my next YouTube video, which you will see tomorrow, which is actually inspired by what we were talking about earlier with people taking food pictures. I've rounded up some of the most disgusting pictures of people's food on Instagram, and we're gonna look at them, so check that video out tomorrow. Perry is coming to come pick me up. Oh, and there he is. Perry, I'm video vlogging. There's Kona. Hi, sweet Kona. Hi, sweet baby. It means that I'm going to take a video of my life every day for the next 300 years. Why? As a social experiment. We're about to drive past my old house. Mmm, such a good girl. Do I have your permission to put Kona on camera? She's allowed. She's allowed. She's gotta sign something first. We're at Trader Joe's because we love going to Trader Joe's. What are you doing? Sucking in my stomach. I'm I'm body what am I doing? Body your self-loathing. Self-loathing. <laughs> I yell at him for self-loathing sometimes. <laughs> because he doesn't say nice things about himself. Perry wants me to be very discreet while we shoot here <laughs> so that I don't embarrass ourselves and we can never show our faces again. And we'll have to shop at 7-Eleven. Yeah, we will have and to shop. You'll have to shop at 7-Eleven. I would find everything I need at 7-Eleven. They have like ravioli and oh. <laughs> they sell breakfast sandwiches now. It's all very upscale. See We're looking for sympathy cards and we decided that this one would be very inappropriate because it says, here's to another check on the bucket list. But Here, I'm gonna get that just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Look how tiny and cute they are. We're watching this new e-show, Catching Kelsey. It's ridiculous. And I will be doing a video on it. I just love this courtyard. I mentioned earlier how I always get food on my pants when I thought I was going to have ramen, and here's Here's what I get for having peanut butter cups out of control. This is going to get out of control. This is going to be nuts. Yeah. <laughs> You're tired of it already. <laughs> <laughs> it was my first full day of daily vlogging. I think it was fun. And I think that you had fun too because you made it this far. <laughs> Even if not, let me know in the comments um, and give me a thumbs up if you want me to keep doing daily vlogs. Although I probably will just keep doing it regardless, but being honest. So I will see you tomorrow, guys. I got some new videos coming out. Uh, subscribe if you want to stay tuned for all of them. Thanks.